<laughs> my boy is about to tell you what it is, and I'm going to tell you what it ain't. Let me give you the definition of a real saint. This is a message for the adults, all the way down to the teens. Stop being a fake Christian, homie. This is not Halloween. <laughs> Don't you think it's about that time for us to behave? Jesus did too much as he rose up out of that grave. Forgive being a Christian, but I'm going to be a disciple. This is a daily living. That's why I'm constantly in my Bible. Luke 9, 23 says it plain as day. Put your flesh down and follow Christ every day. Get him. Okay. But then some of y'all come to church just for the satisfaction, but y'all just faking a run like a halfback play action. Get him. Oh boy. What am I got, man? <laughs> Do you not know that you are a Christian? So when you're back church to look for your school kid, people actually say that you never take Christ. I guess not because at the time we are acting like some fools. Woo! Oh, yes, I'm about to do some bubble busting. You claim to be an image of the Father, but when you get around that other crowd, the only thing that comes out your mouth is the cussing. Oh! Oh, oh boy. <laughs> That's me. It's like. On Saturday nights when you go to the club with your homeboys and your homegirls. So if you are a Christian, why do you still partake in the ways of the world? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, we say one thing, but we so quick to do the opposite. So basically we are some hypocrite Christians and lacking in the faith. Yeah. To so all my players out there who think they got game and know how to match. Why are you getting mad when your ex-girlfriend goes around town and talks about you behind your back? Hold on, hold on. Because your actions speak louder than your words, so be careful with the kind of women that you attract. Do you not know that you are a Christian? Yeah. Okay. But on the other end, ladies, we have our women degrading themselves by dancing and grinding on the floor, so don't be surprised when you ask God for a blessing and he closes that door. But some of us are paying price for his salvation, so the like fools go. Do you not know that you are a Christian? And I really hope that you are hearing this. Because Jesus stretched his arms too far on the cross for some of us to be acting like this. But here's everybody's excuse. Okay, I guess I'll go to club, go to the club and sin a little bit and get my drink on. I guess I'll repent later. But isn't that willful sin? The exact definition of a Christian faker? Oh. Get up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But here's what God is. This is what God is. We're saying, God, I didn't rob the bank. I just drove the getaway car. So if you're letting your brothers and sisters fall to sin, then your guilty is charged. Oh. <laughs> now, if you count the total days of the week, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thinking that if you read your Bible and go to church every other, other day, it will get you into heaven. Nah, nah. I got news for you. Just because you go to church does not make you a Christian. God is not impressed with your ability to read or your ability to listen. Okay? And if you haven't that training of thought, then I guess you are just lining yourself up for religion. Okay. I mean, I'm not perfect, you know, but for Jesus Christ, I would carry mine, and it's sad to see what? some people trading in their salvation for some dollar fries, thinking that if you have a nice smile, it would prevent you from committing the crime. Do you not know that you are a Christian? Because if you cannot answer that question, stop showing up at church every Sunday because you're wasting your time. Get up! 